Woo, yeah, baby. Welcome back to another Kayak and Outdoors video. I knew you got the hands for it. I trust you, man. Three pounds. Ten ounces. Just chilling. Going for the top water bite first, baby. There's a deer right there. Instantly, bud. Over on the left hand side of the river on the bank is a deer. I prefer to like cast towards the shore or stay as close to shore as possible and cast along the edge of it. Fish, oh, no, I missed him. But yeah, I had a blow up right here at the side of the boat. Yeah, if you sit just going like this along the edge. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just sticking 15 to 20 feet off the shore. I can still see bottom for the most part. All right, but it goes from inches deep to my right to a couple feet deep here on my left. And I'm going to keep shooting straight along the edge. It's going to be hard to control camera and boat at the same time, but I will get it, baby. for that top water explosion baby top water explosion good old smallmouth that was awesome fish just jumped beside my lure Fish on! Yeah, baby! Tiny, tiny, itty bitty little smallie. Camera popped off, but. That's number one, baby. Just an itty bitty little smallie, but I got him.
Oh, ha, ha, I just had it. two strikes. I got him this time. No, fish! Smallmouth number two, baby! Smack that like button, smack that subscribe button. Thames River fishing. Throw your torpedo on. They seem to like that top water bite. Casting it at shore, retrieving it out, bringing it from the shallow to the deep. Oh, you hit it again. Come on, come on. No, I missed him though. Just a little guy. Fish on. Yeah, buddy. Smallmouth number three. This one's fighting. This one's fighting. Decent. Oh, it's just another little dink. What? Right? Smallmouth number three, baby. Can't complain. It's just after seven o'clock in the morning. We've only been here for an hour, half an hour on the water. Mwah. Smallmouth bass fishing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, boat control is going to be hard today, but. to the edge of the gravel behind the big boulder pull it out from it after this cast I gotta reposition so what I'm working with here is there's a big boulder and I was casting in behind it. Now I'm going to cast out in front of it. But I want to reposition so I'm not drifting so bad this way. I want to get a little bit past it. I go a little bit past it. And I bring it back past the rock. There should be. Should be something. Hungry. <clears throat> should be something hungry in that general vicinity. There we go. That's the spot. That is the spot. When I was here a few weeks back, the water was three feet higher. All of this stuff was underwater. Fish on. Oh, we got a jumper. Got a jumper, baby! Oh, this one's got some scrap to him. Smallmouth bass number four, baby. I'm having a good day on the Thames River. This is a kayak and outdoorsman production. Bass fishing for now, folks. Yeah, it all plays down to your angles have to cast in the right angle to get the hit. Alright, remember, when river fishing, you don't need to be but 20, 25 feet off the bank. And where there's one bass, there's three. They run in schools. 
if you drift out of position, paddle back. That rock that you're casting at, that's where I got the first one. There should be a big one home there. That's where I got my three pounder. Big one, big one. Maybe not a big one, but it's decent. Right behind that rock. Oh yeah, it's decent. Bass is tanking on the freaking siglet, baby. Look at the size of that small job, baby. Sweet, I'm gonna get a measurement on this bad boy. Since I am here and have the fish to do so, might as well make a sub video in my video. This smallie's just over 15 inches, baby. Smack that like button, smack that subscribe button. Fish number five, baby. Slayer, folks, slayer.